So now I'm going to go to display string and I'm going to enter this one. So what that will do is when the time has expired, so 3.5 seconds into the game, it will show welcome to my map and on the next line it will say have fun. I could also go back to the other one and I'm going to create a counter. And I'm going to set Oh, let's be unlazy and to put counter one. And we're going to actually no, let's do another timer. Uh right, so chronosphere timer. And we're going to set it to three hundred seconds, which is five minutes. 60 times 5 and click OK go back to the intro message and I'm going to go into the counter section and oh no I'm not I'm going to go to map am I? Uh, no it's interface sorry counters and timers specific timer display and I'm going to show Quantosphere timer with localized string. You'll notice that the whoops hello isn't there. But what is there is the by one. So what that script actually did was enable it from the drop down. Uh, if I rename it and save it it won't show by 2 you need to reload the map for it to show right so that will show the chronosphere time and it will count down now it will show in the bottom left. Right, so now I've created actually now this is the orange border which is defaultly done and you can click the border tool, hold shift and make a square. And for some, ah, uh, right, yeah. Uh, you can click on the corner and drag it when you're not holding shift when you made the square to resize it and everything. So these are my different borders. And what that can allow you to do is in the scripts, what you can do is map, gameplay. Nope, sorry, map modify, change the active border, and you can change blue to the active border. So if I did do that, or you can build in this part, oops, I'm just going to, right, you can build in this part, but you can't see past that map because usually you can't build past the orange part and that's the whole map and you're changing this to the whole map that you play on. Right, let's delete that. Right, so if I wanted to do something if timer 1 hasn't expired then I could enable the script intro.
if I want it. If there's nothing in here, it'll just ignore the actions it forced. If there is something in here, so like, um, set timer two to expire in one second, then it'll disable this script so it won't. But of course, when it ignores if it's false, then until timer 1 has expired, this will activate. Otherwise, it will keep checking when timer 1 has expired. Right, so I'm going to click on this Tesla tank which I just placed on the map before, and I'm going to call it Tesla tank. And I'm going to click on the map and make a waypoint and drag to create another waypoint. And what the arrows mean is a path. Because it's going back to the first one, you don't have to make it go back to the first one. I just messed that up, so. No, I haven't. Have I? Why has it done that? Oh, yeah, sorry. I've um, not showing waypoints. So, you can give your waypoint a name, and give the path a name. And you can script, so a unit moves to a waypoint, teleports to a waypoint, or even follows the path. Which I'll show you is in the object type, move, face a waypoint. So you can make it waypoint 11 or follow waypoint exactly or follow a waypoint path starting from waypoint 11 or whatever I wanted. Uh, I'm just going to see if there's other useful ones that you might. This is the camo which you can change which is useful for like co-ops or whatever your mission maps, you can damage units, you can spawn units, you can give it a name, like we call this one a Tesla tank, or an unnamed one, at a waypoint, uh, rotated at an angle if we wanted, we can uh, give it an upgrade, is it here? Yep, give upgrade, Um, the leech are the hammer tanks upgrade, obviously, so you have to look for upgrades for the actual tank. So, like, I could give it heroic veterancy or whatever. Can give players upgrades, fire super weapon if I wanted. And I don't think there's anything else I need to say.